One of the common things we do down here is rebuild rotary engines. Uh, when we rebuild rotary engines, it really comes down to what a customer's after, what the purpose of the engine is. Uh, this one here in front of us is to go into a Series 8 RX-7, uh, which the customer is intending on circuit racing. Uh, for that application, we've chosen to go with a stud kit through the housings and, and through his plates. This is to increase the rigidity of his motor and stop twist. The other thing we've done with his rotors, all his rotors have been side clearanced, which gives us extra clearance on the side seals and also the corner seals. Um, and we always opt to use new bearings in all our rotor assemblies and also in our stationary gears. The other thing we do is we have all our rotating assembly balanced and we also get our shafts uh, what we call isotropic coated. Uh, this is more of a strength um, thing. The other thing that's very critical is the what we call the oil control rings on the engine. Uh, a lot of people fail to replace certain things like oil control rings and different sp retaining springs behind them. Uh, they must be replaced to maintain the tension of oil control rings, side seals, corner seals, apex seals. Um, apex seals and side seals are pretty much like a piston ring. Uh, they gain a surface against a rotor, rotor housing is for the apex seal and then your side seals against your side plates.